Después de la psicóloga, Elene Flood regresa con una novela excepcional, La Comunidad, una historia absorbente sobre una comunidad de vecinos llena de secretos y donde todos pueden ser culpables. Elene Flood está considerada una de las mejores escritoras de novela negra del momento y sus libros han sido publicados en más de 28 países. La autora consigue crear el mejor suspense jugando con los recuerdos y utilizando constantes giros argumentales para engañar al lector y hacerle sospechar de la mayoría de los personajes, incluida la protagonista. La Comunidad es una historia sobre un neighborhood. So it's this uh, a house with four apartments in it where um, people live and then at one point uh, there is a dead man that is discovered or a dead body is discovered uh, in one of the apartments. And it seems that perhaps someone in the building might have committed this murder. Uh, and Rikke, the protagonist of the story, she is uh, having an affair with the dead man even though they're both married. Um, and so this is a house full of secrets. Ah, so it's two different stories, and in uh, La Comunidad, uh, like writing technically, it's, it's more people involved. About a neighborhood and all the people uh, that are there. Um, and then it's a different uh, protagonist, it's maybe more uh, the story of, of, uh, of families, so not just uh, marriages, although certainly marriages as well, but, but also parents and children and the relationships uh, between them. These issues of, of both lies and memories and in this novel I think also the kind of stories that we tell ourselves or how we explain our actions to ourselves. Uh, perhaps if we are doing something that we know is wrong or immoral or illegal that we might say, well, you know, I'm, I'm not someone who cheats on my husband, but in this context, it's okay. I'm, I'm very interested in this story that we tell ourselves in order to say that it's okay in this situation, uh, which is a way maybe of, of uh, lying to yourself. important for me to, to write something or to write what I care about because I think uh, uh, that if it's something that, that I care about then perhaps other people will, uh, will feel the same. And then I know some people write very technically like they have Excel sheets. For me the story must be organic, it must come from uh, uh, within kind of and then um, as I write I, it's more a feeling that uh, um, you know this is tightening and it's becoming more and more claustrophobic, more and more uh, distressing for the people involved. Sure, uh, I feel like I'm exposing myself a lot if I say so, but but uh, sure, there are things that I um, that I recognize in them. In Sarah, the the thing that kind of unlocked the character for me was. Um, her loneliness, knowing that she was uh, was a very like fundamentally lonely person, which um, you know I can recognize. Although we are very different, I can also recognize this feeling of, of, of loneliness. Um, in Rikke, I always knew when I started to think about that character that I wanted to write about someone who has a secret, which I think like builds suspense a little bit and this. Um, feeling that she has that she holds something back and can she tell it or can't she or is it safe what is she risking if she confesses everything i changed everything uh, about the ending uh, in la comunidad i kind of knew how it would go but there are certain twists uh, in the end that i can't spoil but uh, uh, that, that came to me uh, during writing. And I think, for me at least, that is very important uh, to stay open for that during the process of writing. So uh, when, like, when I get the inspiration, when I get these moments of, ha, ah, maybe that happened, I just like, I need to, that gut feeling and, and follow through with it.